<clears throat> How's it guys? Alright, we're starting a new topic. Shapes and patterns. Now I know you guys know of rectangles, and you know of squares, and you know those kinds of things. Okay, but there are other fancier words that we're gonna to learn today. Alright? But first, let's have a look. To identify on this look at our objectives. What are the objectives? of what I'm teaching you guys, of why I'm teaching this to you. To identify and sort two-dimensional geometric shapes, that's a mouthful, don't worry too much about it, into triangles, all right, you guys know what a triangle is, all right? Quadrilaterals, have you heard that word before? Quadrilaterals, now, triangles, tri, First three letters, tri, means three, triangle. So everything with three corners makes a triangle, right? Let me show you. Everything with one, two, three corners makes a triangle. So even that a triangle, right? One, one, two, three. Triangle. Triangle, right? One, two, three. All right. So remember that three, uh, three corners makes a triangle. Quadrilaterals. All right, quad, look at that, quad, quad means four, so everything with four corners makes up a quadrilateral, even a rectangle, like normal rectangle, that's a rectangle, but it's known as a quadra, or it's a quadrilateral known as a rectangle. Why? One, two, three, four. Even this one. Yeah? I know it's a square, but that is a quadrilateral known as a square. Because it has one, two, three, four corners. Anything with four corners, guys. This one. Quadrilateral. Four corners. One, two, three, four. So anything that has four corners is a quadrilateral. All right? Then you get things like hexagons. Hex six, all right, and you get things like octagons, eight, all right, but let's not worry about that too much for now, for now we're looking at triangles, quadrilaterals, circles, and ellipses. A circle, remember guys, is a perfect round circle, all right, and an ellipse, it's like an A, or like a, a football. No, you guys will call it a, a rugby ball or an American football, right? Ellipses, right? That's an ellipse, or an A. <clears throat> Eggs are shaped like that, right? Almost, roughly, right? So you know these long balls, right? American footballs, right? Rugby balls, all of those things are ellipses, all right? Now, this is where it gets interesting. To identify and sort three-dimensional, in other words, 3D, right? Three-dimensional geometric shapes into cuboids, spheres, and cylinders. All right, this is, this is getting interesting now, right? Crazy words, I'm gonna show you guys, don't worry. To differentiate quadrilaterals 
from cuboids. Otherwise, to, to, to see the difference, know the difference. To, the, to differentiate or to see the difference between circles and spheres. To draw two dimensional shapes by using models from a three dimensional geometric shape. I'll show you. To draw two dimensional shapes by using models and then finally to apply this knowledge in our daily lives. All right, so those are the objectives. Let's start with the first page. All right. Guys, in our earlier classes, I want you to take a mental note of this. In our earlier classes, we haven't learned to recognize the shapes of triangles, quadrilaterals, ellipses, and circles. Just look at this picture. Recognize the shapes and color them as given, then count the number of shapes of each kind. I'm going to do it right now. We're going to review it later when we review the work. But what you can do is have a look at it so long. Um, can you up a little bit? Yeah, ah, there we go. Perfect. Right. Look at this picture. Colors. Circles are blue. Quadrilaterals are brown. Triangles are green. Ellipses are yellow. Just at home. Maybe you can write down. Um, a, I see so many circles. Uh, B, I see most, so many quadrilaterals. But we're going to review this when we review the work. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Two dimensional geometric shapes. Yes. Thank you. All right. Two dimensional geometric shapes. All right. Triangle, like I told you. One, two, three. A, B, C. That forms a triangle. A triangle has three sides and three angles. So those are the angles, those are the sides. These three angles are at A, B, and C. The three sides are the lines between A and B, B and C, and C and A. All right, a circle. A circle has no sides and no angles. It is a closed figure. What does it mean? It's a closed figure. So it starts there, goes all the way, and it closes. It stops there again. They meet each other, right? The distance from the center to the curved line are equal. In other words, if you find the center of the circle, the distance, doesn't matter where you go, the distance, is exactly the same. All right? Okay. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Larry. <laughs> All right. A quadrilateral, guys. A quadrilateral has four angles and four sides. In other words, angle, 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 side, 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 side. All right? The lines between A and C, uh, C and D, D and B, and B and A are called the sides. All right, so those are all the sides. And guys, an ellipse has no sides and no angles. It's a closed figure. It's like a circle, but you can see it's a little more stretchy, right? Okay. Um, all right, let's see. Um, all right, we don't have to worry about this much or this one so much for now. We just have to count. Um, you guys will do this in your homework. Um, Fortunately, you're not here to count with me, all right? But again, you can pause the video if you want to have a look. Um, okay, what's this? There are five kinds of shapes in this figure. They say there are ten circles, one triangle, three ellipses, 
and 10 quadrilaterals. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to do this now. All right, just have a look when we review the work. We're going to have a look at this page in more detail. And I'm, we're going to count and I'm going to show you the answers. But look at it for now. <clears throat> Write down how many different kinds of shapes you see. Um, at home, you can count. All right. Um, okay. Identify each of the shapes of the object as a quadrilateral, quadrilateral, and it looks a circle or a triangle. So what they've done here now, take normal shapes, right? Um, normal everyday things, and you have to identify what shape it is. Like this looks like a rug or a carpet or something. Right, it's in the shape of what? Huh? What shape is it? What do you guys think? One, two, three, four corners. One, two, three, four sides. So what do you think it is? Yeah? All right, it's a quadrilateral, right? Quadrilateral. Not rectangle, because the, the, the word that I want you to give me is one of the ones here on top. Nowhere does it say rectangle, right? It says quadrilateral, ellipse, circle, or triangle. And that, quadrilateral. This one. Easy, right? It has a beginning, it has an end, it's one move motion. Come on, you guys know what that is? It's a circle, right? Okay, all right, guys. Now, you have homework in your workbooks, page 134 <clears throat> to page 138. So, page 134, page 135, page 136, page 137, page 138. Only eight pages, that is your homework. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with shapes and patterns, and yes, you, are, you guys are going to get a little more homework. All right, but for now, bye. Thank <laughs> you.